Forced away on the offside, there was no mid off. And the ball slowing down but having just that little bit to carry over the boundary. Manama off the mark. And a pretty confident way at that in doing so. Made some very important and good scores at this uh, grounds. Red shoes from the pavilion end. Hathra Singha edging it, and that was the first ball Hathra Singha faced. And Kalinan, of all fielders, dropping that one. Absolute sitter. Chantika Hathra Singha needs a big score very badly to boost his confidence. Donald in. That's a good delivery. A lot of movement. Donald certainly not at his uh, fastest uh, today. Shoes in. Mana edging it. And again Kalinan at third slip. But that was certainly a better effort. And Schulz would not be happy about this. Both openers edging to Kalinan on two occasions. And both times the bowler has to suffer. Honorable Tiron Fernando with uh, Krish Makadish, the president of the United Cricket Board of South Africa. Schulz in. Manama going for. A shot that didn't uh, give him the desired results, and that's an important breakthrough by South Africa. 22 minutes into the second test, Mahanama the batsman out, and a pretty straightforward catch in the end by Richardson. Really digging it in, the ball coming in to Mahanama. He had shuffled too far, just edging it on its way to the wicket keeper. Hashan Tilakaratna, promoted in the batting order, made his highest score at this venue. Schulz. Oh, he played it between third slip and gully. That was uh, safe, but uh, not convincing. He's off the mark. By TM Summer Singer. Edging this one, that ball not very far away from second slip, and Brian McMillan was there. That's his second boundary. He moves on to eight with that. The total on to 17. Schulz. Wrapped uh, on the pad, Hathur Singer not all that comfortable, that ball keeping low. After getting that uh, first wicket, she was all fired up, that uh, ball may have pitched outside leg stump. Brian McMillan. Digging it in and Tilakaratna is in trouble, he's gone. Comfortably taken by Kronje at mid-wicket. And Hashan Tilakaratna. Just after 37 minutes of batting. And adding 20 runs for the second wicket. Not the customary Hashan Tilakaratna. Didn't have a good look at Macmillan. And that ball, not all that comfortable to be pulled around. Although there was no feed deep at mid-wicket. Kronje delighted, digging it in, 
dropped it quite short and a little bit of top edge did the damage for Tilakaratna. Aravind De Silva, new batsman and he really needs a very big innings. Sri Lanka will be looking up to him for that. Macmillan. And dropping it short to Arvind De Silva is asking for a lot of trouble and he's off the mark. Fine stroke, controlled it well, hit it well, middle of the bat and this fast outfield did the rest. This time Macmillan over pitching and De Silva going past mid off. Beats Cronier to the boundary. Macmillan bowls, and that's the drive that uh, got that boundary. Really, an overfish delivery deserved to be hit for a boundary. Snell. A no ball, and probably he heard the call, but nevertheless, the ball was short. Arvind De Silva dispatching it comfortably through mid wicket. Brian Aldridge, the neutral umpire. Hudson taking evasive cover. Macmillan. Again, strain down leg side. That's a good strike through fine leg. And Hathra Singh on to 16. The 50 runs coming up in 92 minutes of batting. Schulz uh, dropping it short and uh, hammered away through cover. That will reach the boundary. Arvind De Silva very firm in dealing with uh, the short deliveries. Perfectly into position. Schulz. Set off for a quick run. Oh, that was a good effort from uh, John T. Rhodes. He had to come a long way from cover point. See where he ended up. Just dropping it short on the offside. Aravind De Silva late starting and very close indeed. That's Tim Cox. Taken on the pull. And where did it end up? Oh, Macmillan is fielding at uh, Silimidov. He's a strong man, but uh, he may have been in, in a little bit of discomfort. Not very easy. Coming well out of his crease. Taking it on the full. Oh, that should have been painful. No doubt. So this is a good partnership and approaching lunch on the first day. Shoes in. Oh, he's in trouble. He's gone. 55 minutes of batting and Arvind De Silva is out. The partnership coming up in 55 minutes and that really was a big blow on the stroke of lunch batted well hit six boundaries but again this moving delivery proving disastrous for Arvind De Silva so in the first session 72 runs coming up in two hours of batting Hathra Singh has survived two chances. And she was uh, really doing the damage, but uh, Macmillan almost gifted with a wicket by Tilakaratna. So five bowlers uh, used uh, by Kepler vessels in the first session. 
Donald is not uh, impressing much. And immediately after lunch, the Sri Lankan captain coming up. He was the top scorer in the test at the Tiron Fernando Stadium. Schulz into him. He had one delivery remaining in this over. And first ball to the Sri Lankan captain worked away on the onside and just crossing the boundary. The ball won the race on that occasion and Ranatunga off the mark. Schulz to Ranatunga. And that's a very firmly hit. Well up to him. Four more runs. So two deliveries, two boundaries to Ranatunga. He's on eight. And he really moved into that one. Again, he may have played it uh, through offside, but decided to play it through mid on. Successful. Snarein. Oh, he played it obviously and well taken. That's Kalinan. And he must be happy after the two drop chances and what a way for the Sri Lankan captain to go. He has reason to be annoyed with himself. Very quickly into double figures. In fact, in quarter of an hour's batting, but really not uh, right on top. He moved a lot, shuffling. He may have gone between the bowler and mid-off or on the offside. Instead, to try to get that one over mid-on, but uh, a simple catch to Kalinan. But he went up well at the right moment and the catch made to look so easy. A few yards away from that, it could have fetched him a boundary. It was not to be and Sanat Jasuri, the new batsman, really has not impressed as a test batsman and few people were present on the first day. Snell over pitching and Jai Surya just loves to go through with anything that is pitched up to him. A good boundary. Snell. Dropping it short, and this time Hathru Singh square cuts. A very firm stroke, a good one. That's the 100 up for Sri Lanka in 155 minutes of batting. Quite a short delivery. And Hathru Singh loves to play the square cut. Got it right on that occasion, behind point. Donald to Hathru Singh. Plays it officially. Oh, that's a drop chance, but a good effort by Andrew Hudson. And South Africa has surprised most of the spectators by dropping so many catches. But certainly, could have been a brilliant catch had he held on to that one. Hudson couldn't. Donald over pitching to Jai Surya, going for the slash. Got it well. And anything up to Jai Surya, he loves to bang it around. Donald. Edging it, but straight to a fielder. Bran Macmillan has it. And Chandika Hathrusinga is out. That was another good wicket. Batted uh, just under three hours, survived two chances, but really couldn't make good use out of it. Playing away from his body, not in control, and a pretty straightforward catch by Macmillan. Donald's first wicket looked a lot more penetrative in the second spell. A little bit awkward in holding on to that catch, but successful. Pubudu Dasanayaka, the new batsman, the wicket keeper. 
and then turn it into him. Oh, the fielders go up and he's gone. No mistakes that time. And out without scoring. Pubudu Dasanayaka wouldn't like it. Sri Lanka in deep trouble at 119 for 6. This is it. Away from his body as he played it. And he waited for the umpire's decision. And Kumar Dharmasena is playing his first test match. A sit and start, but he's on his way in test cricket. That's his first test run. Macmillan. Full toss. Oh, he hit it very firmly on the offside. That should reach the boundary. And a gifted boundary, I should think, to Jai Surya. He moves up to 27 with that. Really no difficulty in finding the gap on that occasion. Schulz. Very firmly played as that was dropped short. And these two met each other in South Africa when Sri Lanka toured them under 24 side and Jai Surya was the captain on that occasion. Snell over pitching and Jai Surya finding the gap once more through cover. Fine stroke brings him another good boundary. His seventh and he moves up to 43 with that. Schulz. Oh, he played right across that, squared it up, and Dharmsena is gone. Fine delivery from Brett Schulz. Really had no answer. Open chested as he played that. The ball angled towards the slip. Very good delivery by Brett Schulz. Richardson having another enjoyable and successful day. Champak Ramanayaka comes in. One of three changes into the side. Schulz. A ball him. Oh, that's a fine delivery. And Jai Surya obviously showing a weakness in playing that type of delivery. And on the stroke of T. Jai Surya is out and Sri Lanka 147 for 8, losing 5 wickets in the second session and adding only 75 runs. Fine strike from Brett Schulz and two important breakthroughs on the stroke of lunch and T. The two batsmen to go, Arvind De Silva and Sanat Jai Surya. Promote the Vikram Singer, the new batsman. And Snell into him. Full toss, worked away through mid on, past Simcox, he won't get to it. Good looking shot. And the 150 coming up in 245 minutes of batting. Vikram Singer on to five. Snell dropping it short, and Vikram Singer really launching himself on that occasion. Four runs. He would take a chance. Certainly did so on that occasion. And the two opening bowlers for Sri Lanka. Anything is possible. Schulz. Ramanaka wrapped on the pad. Pretty confident to feel. That may have, may have missed the stumps. Maybe too high. 
Here's Schulz once more. Again, that was even closer. Again, not in favor of the bowler. Well, he was justified in asking that question. Schulz in once more. Oh, Vikram Singh bowled him. Very good ball indeed. And Vikram Singh at the middle for half an hour had three hits to the ropes. But this particular delivery missing his edge but not the off stump. Well bowled. Mutai Amurli the last man in. Snell into him. Oh, plays it up easily and brilliantly taken there at cover point by John T. Rhodes. Oh, what a catch. And Sri Lanka all out for 168. And Murli Dharan himself, a fine fielder, would have been proud of that effort. Trying to square drive, hit it up easily, and Rhodes, a brilliant effort. Anything close to him, you're asking for a lot of trouble. There it was, except for Jai Surya, who made the top score. None of the other batsmen looked confident, including Aravinda De Silva and uh, Chandika Hathuru Singh, a joint uh, second highest score. But both of them given lives. But uh, Ranatunga and uh, Tilakaratna, I thought, threw away their wickets. And after Mahanama was out, uh, it was always going to be a big struggle. And the South Africans only conceding four extras. They bowled extremely well. And Brett Schultz, Five wickets for 48, improving on his four-wicket haul at the Tiron Fernandez Stadium. The first time he's done so in a test match and playing in only his fourth game. Donald and Snell giving very good support. Macmillan just one. And Simcox, the spinner, only two overs. Kepler Vessels will be looking for a good total. His highest score for Australia was made in 1983-84. Pretty experienced batsman. And Hudson, the regular openers for South Africa, made his top score on his test debut at Barbados and made a fine 90 in the last game. Wickham Singer in. Down the leg side. And that's through fine leg for four runs. So we'll really have to wait and see whether he did get a bat. Oh, yes. And possible chance. But Dasanayaka is still playing only his second game. Ramanayaka. Played up easily. Well short of uh, Pramod Devikam Singer. But that ball travelled quickly and low to mid-on. This is it. Trying to play it uppishly and short of Vikram Singer, though he did attempt on that occasion. Vikram Singer. Post away. Through third slip and gully, unprotected third man boundary four runs. So the runs are coming and that's important. Sri Lanka doesn't have that much. Here's the first bowling change, Hathur Singer. And Vessels off drives handsomely, pitched up to him and he timed it well. Four runs in front of the dressing rooms. Coming out in a good follow through. Kumar Dharam Sena. And Hatri Singh driving full length. 
Sri Lankans thought they had the South African captain on that occasion. Certainly not the umpire. Off the pad. Mutaya Murlidharan. Oh, that was a chance or what? Ashan Tilakratna certainly is the fielder. But that was close. Well, he was trying to take evasive action. Oh, that's a tragedy for Sri Lanka. And even if he collected it, while it was on the ground, he could have had vessels who was well out of his crease. And the two batsmen accepted the light, which was offered around 5.30 with three overs still to be bowled. Both not out on 19, batted very well. A wicket singer was impressive in the first couple of overs, but Murli Duran should have had a wicket late in the day. Although the conditions were good for batting, once the quick bowlers settled in, there was a lot of trouble for the Sri Lankans. In the end, it was a weak need batting performance that saw themselves throw away the chance of winning a toss and going to a total that was going to be ahead of 400. Instead, they folded to a total that was far less than half that one. With Kepler Vessels and Andrew Hudson putting South Africa onto a sound start, the good work done by Brett Schultz, Dave Richardson, and the simply magnificent John T. Rhodes had put South Africa in a very strong position at the end of the first day's play. It was going to be a long haul for Sri Lanka for them to be in this match towards the latter stages. We hope you enjoy the highlights. Thank you for joining. And good night. Not bold or caught behind. Very nearly played onto his thumbs. Vessels having overtaken Hudson. Sri Lankan dressing room, Ronnie Gunratna, Durit Mendis, and Nasanka Gurusinga. Ramanaika. Full toss. Very well played. No difficulty in dispatching that one. Hudson is a very good driver of the ball. And in the first innings of the first test, the openers put up. A century partnership, well on the way now. Shanat Jai Surya. Dropped it short and found the gap on the offside. Roshan Mahanama just cutting it off. He had to make an effort not to cross over the boundary. Vessels on to 48 with that. Uh, Stroke which uh, brought him three runs. Watch Mahanama. Could have taken another step forward. This is Jasuri post him and neatly nudged it mid room, running down to the third man boundary. Ramanaika gives chase, again gets a boot to it, and that'll be three runs to Kepler Vessels, brings up his half century, and what a good one it is, the 16th uh, test half century for him, and the fourth uh, since uh, making his appearance for South Africa, 1-6 and 2-4s, fine knock from him, the 100 coming up in 187 minutes of batting. The time Vessels took to get to his half century. Good knock. Jai Surya. Driven on the on side of the wicket. That's a good looking straight drive. Taking Hudson onto the 40s. Here's Arvind de Silva. Driven on the offside. Fine stroke, 
well timed. That's an on to 46 with that. Again, coming to meet the ball and middling it quite well. Murali that run. Played and missed down the leg side and it beat the wicket keeper too. Atru Singh won't get to it. So the runs are coming by. That one he did get a bat. That would have been a chance. Dharma Sena. Lofted on the onside. Pitched up to him. That boundary will bring up uh, the half century for Andrew Hudson. Fine shot there. And that's the second time he's gone past uh, the half century mark in successive matches against Sri Lanka. Remember, he made 90 in the first test. And he's really enjoying his stay here. Played extremely well. And whenever he struck, he struck it well. And his boundaries, all eight of them played very well. 123 for no loss, 75 runs added in the first session. And both batsmen having almost a similar number of strikes as balls faced. Batting extremely well. The Sri Lankan bowlers had toiled for a long time. Vikram Singer. That was a better delivery. Beat the outside edge. And the former Sri Lanka captain Michael Tissera on his screen on that occasion. Tarmusena. Very dispersed. Dropped it short. And the chase is on for Hathur Singha, but the boundary is for the South Africans. Just dropping it short, and on this wicket, it's suicidal to drop that short. Hudson saw it early, in position, and although he hit it hard to the ground, he had timed it so well. The cricket board headquarters upstairs. Fine view out from there. Vikram Singer. Ball to Hudson. Loud shout for LBW. Empire Aldridge rules the batsman out. So South Africa lose their first wicket with a total at 137. And Hudson batting for just over four hours. A good century partnership. And he really made a big difference towards the South African course. Wrapped in front, the ball kept low, and he had to leave the field. Vikram Singh had worked very hard for that wicket. Hansi Cronier, the new batsman. He would like to get into the runs himself, the South African vice captain. And that's the journalist covering this uh, match. Many known faces out there towards the scoreboard end. Dharmsena over pitching and Vessels driving on the offside. He timed it well. His outfield quite fast by Samar Singer signaling the boundary. Dharma Sena in his test debut, he'll have to work hard. And Vessels moved into that one well. Hathra Singer, it was taking evasive action. He had to leave the ground. Victim Singer. Or spread it on the offside and although hit uppishly, it was safe and Aravinda's effort 
after the ball passed of no use. The 150 coming up in 298 minutes of batting. The ball travelled very quickly, so he timed it well. Darmasena. Vessels close to his thumbs. Very nearly played onto it. Certainly, this was uh, a close call for the South African captain. Very nearly played onto his thumbs. And Roshan Mahanam uh, sending his return. The batsman had to hurry. They made it comfortably in the end. Ramanayaka. Full toss, a no ball, and that's uh, very easily dealt with, hammering it through on the offside. Sri Lanka gifting that boundary to the South Africans. Vessels having made almost half those runs. And looking a little bit more adventurous and attacking than he did yesterday. Oh, that one just short of uh, Roshan Mahanama at slip. Found the edge on that occasion. Kronje. Awkward bounce for the fielder. Well, he has done a fair share of the bowling and been economical but not successful. Murali Dharan. That one turned, very nearly got himself bowled. Given a lot of air, Kronje came right across, probably intended to glide it through the bacon slip region. Really that end. Vessels making room and waiting for the ball to turn. But an excellent stop there by Chanti Kahatru Singha. The ball was travelling quickly as again Muralidharan dropped it short and Vessels hammered it around. Kahatru Singha was faster. Tarun Sena. Okay, a little bit of air. Fine stroke from Hansi Kronje. Moves into double figures with that boundary. That was his second. Murali Dharan. Well played on the onside. Good stroke here. Finding the boundary at long on. Arjun Rantunga having a bird with Muttai Muralidharan. And big drawback is his inability to strike. And he's gone. That's the wicket Sri Lanka very badly needed. And the South African captain really falling for that delivery. And see the delight of Arjun Rantunga. If you can get wickets... For the asking at that rate, any captain would be lucky. Battered over five hours, held the innings together, but out well within sight of his uh, seventh test hundred. Given a lot of air, all pitched on off stump, but the vicious turn he was uh, playing, not really covering up. And off the edge, a good catch in the end by Pubudu Dasanayaka. Watch the keeper still down, then he's getting up and he had moved well and as it hit the bat, he was in position to collect it. Kalinan, the new batsman, equaled his top score of 46 at the Tiron Fernando Stadium in the first test. Pat Simcox and Dave Richardson 
having a stroll. Jai Surya. Oh, very nearly bowled Cronia on that occasion. The batsman played for the turn. Very close to his stumps. Vikram Singha. Well struck on the offside. That was very well played. Playing on the up, but getting the gap through cover. The 200 coming up in 338 minutes of batting. Crowd very small, but very appreciative. In the first two sessions, South Africa scored 75 runs in each. Ramanaika, loud shout. Antikronia playing well forward. Ranatunga didn't appeal. Vikram Singha. Oh, well played. Very well struck indeed by Hansi Kronje. Opening out now. But uh, Sri Lanka not able to get more than a couple of wickets at this stage. He has a long reach and he somewhat slashed at it but hit it well. Vikram Singer dropping it short and Kalinan pulling it through. He really hits the ball hard. And on this wicket and outfield as fast as that, asking for a lot of trouble. Ramanaika. Oh, overfished and placed it between cover and mid-off. That will run to the boundary, beating Muralidharan not by that much of a distance though. 37 to Kronje. Fine picture there, perfect drive. Ranatunga bringing himself on and this was the eighth bowler tried by the Sri Lankan captain. A trolley full toss and the fielders didn't actually move as that ball sped past them on its way to the cover boundary. And the half century partnership coming up in 100 minutes. So it's a pretty good one. Hans Ikronje would be very pleased. He's amongst the runs and he's middling the ball. There it is. Stepping out of his crease on that occasion. Dharmasena's inexperience really is showing. Dropped it onto his leg stump. Came out of his crease and beautifully played. Picked it up well. Dharmasena over pitching once more. The chase is on for the mid off. He won't get to it. 250 coming up in 415 minutes of batting. And Kalinan driving through the line. Jai Surya. Full toss. Easily dispatched. Vacant mid wicket boundary. Loose delivery. Both batsmen getting on to the 40. Jai Surya over pitching and Kronia driving on the offside. Fine stroke from him. He moves up to 49. South Africa 101 runs ahead. At
tries to revolve and Cornier just leans on it. Arvind De Silva gives chase. That's a century for Hansi Cornier and he would be happy. This is his first half century from home in Test but did so he went on to make a century against India at home. Turned away on the onside. Kalinan's uh, half century. And the maiden half century in only his test match. Well played. Three innings again. He's gone past 30. And congratulated there by. Far away from Tilakaratna. Yes, Murli Dharan. Forward front pad. That's it. 82 runs. And South Africa. And 32 runs. The four batsmen getting into centuries. Two centuries partnerships. Seven. Slow in their approach. They may have seen that. Number of extra only Hashan did not bowl, but most of them had bowled. This one getting into half centuries, two century partnerships. Seven fours each for the batsman, but they have been slow in their approach. They may have had more runs than that. Sri Lanka conceding number of extras. Only Roshan and Hashan did not bowl. But most of the others uh, had bowled tight, but not with much effect. The only successful bowlers, Vikram Singh and Murli Dharan. Dharam Sena economical, but not successful himself. Two century partnerships that put South Africa in a very strong position. If they didn't make 300 runs, they didn't lose too many wickets. With Cronier and Kalinan looking very much better for a big total, the chances of South Africa getting to a healthy first innings lead is going to be of paramount importance for the Sri Lankans. The wickets still playing good, but Sri Lanka having very few chances of dismissing a side that is having depth in batting. We hope you enjoy the highlights and Good night. It was going to be a decisive one, no doubt about that. South Africa 112 runs on with eight wickets in hand. The overnight pair had made fine half centuries and if South Africa was still batting bitey, then the lead would have been quite a threatening one on Sri Lanka during their second innings. This wicket still good for runs at least during the first two sessions. South Africa's only hope was that Murli Dharan would not strike because he had quite a good strike rate at the SSC. We pick up play in the first over with Kumar Dharmasena into Hansi Kronje. Uh, slip there and he got uh, quite a lot of bat onto it. Four runs. Not the best way to start the day but nevertheless. Here's Murli Dharan. Kalinan drives and beautifully taken by the bowler himself. Oh what a catch that one. And Kalinan out without adding to his overnight score. In Murli Dharan's first over on the third day, since making his uh, maiden half century last evening, 105 runs added for the third wicket in 175 minutes. Murli Dharan, excellent recovery since delivery, 
and uh, he was going in the opposite direction with the follow through recovered very well absolute beauty new batsman is jonty rhodes and is uh, top score in the last innings Cronier. beautiful shot through mid wicket this time and he was very good in making that particular stroke throughout his innings over pitching playing it with the spin taking it well away from off stump he was in very good control right through Rohit Sharma and Rhodes uh, coming out of his crease chase on for Hathru Singh the 300 coming up in the 121st over in 497 minutes of batting South Africa not in a hurry for runs Konya once again making a bold strike cleared the end field very safe shot using his reach to get to the pitch of that ball Coach batting up and Konya calling for the run this is close the throw comes in and rolls it out that was important and Rhodes could consider himself unlucky. I thought he didn't want the run at first, but so Cronier calling for the run, then he had to respond. He's generally quick among the wickets, but uh, not on this occasion. He played it to one of the safest fielders in the Sri Lankan team, and he's a quick one too. Not the quickest. Very good return, and Murli Dharan finishing it off. Kalin and well down the track he realized the danger subsequently midway through but Rhodes always in trouble since he had a late start Brian Macmillan his first test innings against the Sri Lankan Sri Lanka taking two quick wickets and that was important that came a long way and more than one batsman have been dismissed uh, in that fashion before to this same bowler macmillan out first ball tom modi of australia anil kumble of india both were out not offering a stroke in almost similar fashions and now macmillan murli dharan sliding that ball came across didn't offer a stroke and then realized his mistake too late the all rounder not offering a stroke would be very embarrassed david richardson the new batsman has not had the same success in front of the wickets as he did behind Vikram Singh dropping it short and very well played by Richardson. And Aravind De Silva got a boot to it, not good enough to save the boundary. Confident way to get off the mark. In control as he played it between slip and gully. Ronnie taking strike. Thompson bowls and he may have got a touch to that one. Judging by the reaction of the bowler on his test debut he's been trying very hard. 
committing the batsman to the stroke. He did get a touch. And surely that one should have been taken. Dasan I can Dharmasena club mates. Again, that's a good delivery. Dharmasena very dejected. That one did turn into the batsman. Here's Murali Dharan. Richardson plays it right into the hands of uh, Sanacha Surya and yet another wicket out for 11 and that 26 run partnership coming in 58 minutes and at this stage South Africa had lost 4 wickets for the addition of only 49 runs in just 23 overs. Murlitharan bowling unchanged from the pavilion end, flighting that ball, it did turn in and as it lunged forward Richardson off the pad onto the bat and straight into the hands of Sanat Surya. So Murlitharan involved in all four dismissals. He has now taken four wickets. Twice before in the same venue he had taken four wickets in test innings. Batsim Cox also able to strike out boldly. Murlidharan beats Simcox and beats the wicketkeeper too. Mahanama unable to cut it off. That was four buys. That ball did turn a long way and that's how he is. Now oh, Vikram Singer. Straying outside the off stump, but that was very well struck by Cronier. Used his long reach to very good effect. And although he played it uh, away from his body, he middled it. Not easy to play that stroke unless you are in perfect uh, control, as he was on that occasion, Cronier. 69 runs coming in 29 overs in the first session. This was uh, at lunch, but 30 extras expensive. Cronier approaching a well-deserved century. But his partner couldn't add to his overnight total, Kalinan. More people were coming in after those early strikes. Certainly not an encouraging crowd. Murlidharan beats Kronye, tries to play one of his favourite strokes. Well flighted again, outside off stump, that may have had him bowled. And once again, an untidy Dasanaika behind the wickets. Kronye does connect on this occasion. Dharmasena feels, and that's his uh, century. A fine knock from him, his second test century after he made his first against India. And this particular 100 at the SSC, quite a good one for Hansi Kronje. Batted extremely well, coming up in 355 minutes of batting. A well struck. Murrizaran over pitching, and Simcox really loves. Oh, pitch deliveries, and he's a very good striker of the ball. Moves up to six with that. The 350 of the innings coming up in 596 minutes of batting. Jai Surya straying down leg side. With that boundary, Simcox moved into double figures. This is an important partnership between these two batsmen when South Africa were in danger of having a middle order collapse. And the 50 partnership coming up in only 58 minutes of batting. Rudran over pitching and Simcox going for the lofted drive. Perfectly safe, well placed. 
Bhairav Ramanayaka. Once again, a good strike, and Muralidharan visibly annoyed. A couple of meters uh, this way could have been a catch to Ramanayaka. Well played. Paddled it around with the spin. That could be the 400 as Aravinda De Silva picks up. The 400 taking 653 minutes of batting. Quite a commanding lead at this stage. 232 runs on. Aravinda De Silva. Bold him. Look for the turn. It wasn't there. It wasn't uh, too far up either. Played the wrong line, and that was the mistake. But a fine knock coming to an end. Not his uh, highest score, but certainly a very important one. And that uh, 68 run partnership for the seventh wicket coming in only 86 minutes of batting. Cronier. Surprised Aravinda with that uh, dismissal. The new batsman Richard Snell. Will he have the same fortunes or otherwise? As Macmillan, he was one of the two changers. But uh, not so. Going over the infield. Whole strike there from Richard Snell. And with his first boundary, he moved up to double figures. That was a pretty loose delivery and promote the Vikram Singer making a desperate attempt there. It was in the air, certainly. Full toss. Just short of promote the Vikram Singer. The third new ball taken. With a total at 426 after 167 overs. Which is certainly a tired promo the Vikram Singer at this stage. I just hit between the slips. No one there at third man, four runs. And these two batsmen were in a terrific tussle to be ahead of each other, matching almost from one stroke to the other. And Simcox was well ahead when Snell came in. In fact, he bought 17 runs when Snell walked in. And once again, pulled around. This was in the first over. Two boundaries coming up. With the new ball, it's Ramanayaka. Simkov's striking very firmly indeed. Back down the pitch. Very, very effective strike there. Four runs, 450 coming up for the South Africans. What a way to get it. It comes singer. No ball called. Effectively worked down to third man. Intentionally played. And the runs were coming at a very brisk pace at this stage. South Africa really quickening the pace. Well struck. This is very good batting. Manama gives chase, makes a good stop. Took a lot of effort for him to reach that ball. He never gave up. 
and a fine return too. So good all-round uh, display by Roshan Mahanama. Simcox going over fine leg, the first six of the innings. Fine stroke to get to his uh, first half century in Test cricket and he beats Snell. Both of them playing in their second uh, Test match. What a way. That is extremely well. 1-6 and 5 fours. Improved on the 48 he made at the Tyrone Fernando Stadium. Goes for the reverse sweep and he's gone. That was uh, immediately after making the half century in the very next delivery. Quite an adventurous stroke but uh, didn't work on that occasion for him. But he wouldn't mind it. Really made up with two important partnerships. First with Cronje and then 79 runs with Richard Snell coming in double quick time. And he has done his part. Stretching out and that made the difference. Stretched out far too much. Alan Donald, the new batsman in South Africa. Not making the declaration, probably looking for a total of 500. Snell drives, very firmly struck. Four runs, not afraid to hit the ball. Whenever it's up to him, Ranatunga very much concerned. South African tailenders showing determination. Down the track, he's gone. Just two runs away from a well-deserved half century that would have been his first in Test cricket. He didn't have to play that stroke, but there it is. And uh, his runs coming from only 64 balls with the help of eight boundaries and all of them very well struck. But this particular stroke was not the best. Presenting Pobudu Dasanayaka with the second stump and Arvind De Silva with his second wicket. In fact, his third. Arvind De Silva goes to Schulz, goes over the top. Four runs. Good way to get off the mark against the Sri Lankans in Test cricket. Silva wouldn't mind. He has three wickets against his name. Murlidharan looking for five wickets. Down the track, he's gone. So the last three batsmen of the South African innings, in fact, the last three wickets to fall, all out stumped. Donald not out in the end. And 495 all out in 1750 minutes of batting came down the track. The ball spun away from him and Pupudu Dasanayaka's fourth victim. In the end, it was a good match for him, but he had missed an equal number. This total improved on the 390 South Africa made against India, but falling short of the 622 against Australia at Durban way back in 1970. But certainly a very big uh, total. Cronier played extremely well at the first four batsmen getting past 50. In fact, four others other than Cronier got past the halfway mark. But that very important partnership between Snell and Simcox really brought the innings. And 42 extras adding to the South African total. That really made a big difference. And in the bowling, eight bowlers tried by the Sri Lankan captain, including himself, Muralidharan's test best figures improving on the 5 for 104 in the last test match. But three important wickets for Aravinda De Silva. The others uh, not impressing. Vikramasinghe and Muralidharan, 100 runs off them. Kumar Dharmasena's vain effort to take a wicket. He bowled extremely well. And when the Sri Lankan openers came out, their task was to say, and here's Roshan Mahanama, much expected of him at a very crucial stage. They must be quite tired. Here's Schulz. Loud appeal. 
but uh, Mahanama played forward but that's what it is they would uh, be really striving for the breakthrough covered it up and he generally angles it uh, away from the right-hander Chantika Hathrasinga also needs a big score but he has really struggled against the South African fast bowlers apart from the half century he made in the first one-day international Schultz Oh, he bowled him that would have come off the bat and what a big breakthrough for the South Africans Schultz is excited he has reason to be so top wicket taker in the first innings getting the breakthrough his first delivery in this match was a dropped chance by Chandika Hathrasinga but Mahanama out without scoring that was an important breakthrough the ball was uh, missing off stump but Mahanama got a bat to it he may have tried to open the face of the bat but remember there were four slips not the best stroke that he should have played against the left armour Hashan Tilakratna coming in this is an awkward position for him to be at the wicket oh that one came in comfortably taken by Hansi Kronje and Shantika Hathrasinga falls to Donald and if you look at his records the fourth time in as many test innings he's been dismissed but in eight international meetings with the South Africans Hathrasinga has been out to Donald on seven occasions the only time he didn't was up at Askeria in the first one day international that ball came very quickly and very comfortable catch to Hansi Kronje Donald was bowling very fast and hostile at this stage it was an awkward delivery it was committed to the stroke then had he slashed it may have gone over but he didn't so he had to leave two wickets down both openers failing to score Harvind De Silva signals his presence with a flowing off drive over pitch delivery that reached the boundary without much trouble any chances of a Sri Lankan fight back will rest on this man he is Donald but neatly turned off that was well played very well timed and placed just the second boundary taking him on to double figures the Sri Lanka in desperate trouble Snell Oh, that one climbs very hard. An appeal for a catch behind given out by umpire Samarasinghe. And Hashan Tilakaratna may have fallen onto the wicket. He didn't. He was on his back when Richardson took the catch. And Tilakaratna seems not very happy. But that ball really deserved a wicket. It was a very awkward delivery indeed. Snell banging it on. That ball really climbed in line with the stumps. And not quite clear whether he really did manage to get a bat or glove to it. We'll take a better look here. It seemed to have uh, taken the sweatband. Certainly. Tilakaratna had left the ground but if there was any doubt in the mind of the umpire it should have gone to the batsman it didn't so he didn't have any doubt Champak Ramanayaka the night watchman the fielders crowding in wrapped on the pad and umpire Aldridge rules the batsman out and this is an important breakthrough if the South Africans were looking 
for a wicket or two. Well, they've got four now. And Sri Lanka in deep trouble at four for 31. It has been a disappointing match for him. And the third batsman out without scoring in the Sri Lankan second innings. Arjun Ranthukar had no option. He had to come in on his home grounds. The last of the recognized batsmen of the Sri Lankans. A long haul. 327 runs behind on the first innings. Oh, well struck. The first delivery he faced through the covers. Remember, he was off the mark with a flowing boundary to mid wicket in the first innings of the first delivery. That's Simcox introduced into the attack for the last over. Dropping it short, and Ranatunga is very strong in that area. Quite a loose delivery. Right back on it and punched it. He middled it. No question of placing. Most of the fielders were well up. And he made uh, one other boundary in that over to get into double figures. And apart from Arvind De Silva, who looked very solid, none of the other batsmen were comfortable. But Hashan Tilakratna, in particular, was very unlucky. Quite an unimpressive scorecard for the Sri Lankan second innings. And in the bowling, the first four bowlers taking the wickets. Simcox, quite an impressive. Not an impressive first over, but Donald and Schulz were very hostile indeed. Ideal test match temperament and some resourceful batting had taken South Africa into a commanding first innings lead. When the Sri Lankan openers did finally emerge for the second time, the quick and fiery South African opening bowlers were not in a compromising mood. They priced out the openers, took two more wickets, and added further misery to the Sri Lankans. And if they could take this match into the fifth day, then Sri Lanka would have done well. But as it is, the chances of a historic South African win in this test match is very much alive. We hope you enjoy the highlights. And mind you, tomorrow is the rest day. Join us again on the fourth day for more highlights. Good night. Over the infield, not as uh, well as he may have liked. Nevertheless, two runs. Interesting, moving on to six with that. Sri Lanka passed the lowest test total they have made. They're dropping it short and Vikram Singh are going for a very big hit. That cleared the ground. Over the boundary at mid wicket. The crowd just loves it. Some rear guard action, some steal. Coming in a bit too late. Well, trying to dig it in. Vikram Singh had already moved, so enough room to go through with the shot. Well played. He gets into double figures, doubles his score in fact. Again, another fine stroke. Two players were there, but that ball fell over Donald's head into the crowd. That would have been six in many test venues. No. Vikram Singh returning in kind to Snell. Very well played. Connected it well. And it was a big shot. Went a long way. He had already taken a step back. Then from the ball shot.
Oh, very struck. Interesting to see whether it would reach the boundary. Oh no! Who was that? That's Kronje. But he came a long way. South Africa really on it. The 100 coming up in 195 minutes of batting. It was well played. There was no mid on. Shields was going on the wicket. But this man was supposed to be having back problems before this match. What a slide, but he had done the need pull. Snell. Vikram Singh goes for the big hit. Oh, Donald is there. He's delighted. And that's his second catch. Come on, they are a bit too adventurous. No harm in doing so. But a fairly good breakthrough for Snell, having the revenge on Vikram Singh. Entertaining knock, two sixes. Some consolation. Two people were placed there just for that shot. And a good catch by Donald. The crowd may have answered Donald as he returned the compliment. Pretty calm faces there in the Sri Lankan dressing room. Schulz. No ball called, but the Sri Lankan number 11 playing an adventurous stroke. That was well played in the end, all along the ground. What a way to get off the mark. Attempted Yorker by Schulz. Murlitharan had moved to leg stump and then found the ball pitched up to him and he made it a half volley. Again, this time, square on the offside, all along the ground, that's his second boundary. Not a bad stroke in the end. But he made sure that ball was well away from his body. The field was up, but the ball was into the gap. Again, very well played. Making room on the offside. But Rhodes would never give up. Schulz, full toss. That was well played by Dasanayaka. He gets into double figures with his second boundary. A matter of time at this stage. Sentiments, they need to be there in the third test match. Timed it well. Played it away from any of the fielders. So Snell. Not willing to be intimidated, Pobudhudasanayaka. Even at this late stage, South African bowlers really testing the batsman. Oh, he got a touch and he's gone. Richardson wrapping it up. Four victims for him. What a match this was. A historic test win for South Africa and that would avenge uh, their defeat in the first ever meeting between the two countries in a limited over international at the World Cup and the Sri Lankans graceful in defeat nevertheless 
Look at this. Edged it in front of the keeper and to his side, but he was there in the nick of time. If you don't miss too many catches, that would have been an object lesson for the wicketkeeper himself. Aravind, the top scorer in the innings, the second highest score to Pramodja, his highest in test cricket. Three of the first four batsmen were dismissed without scoring, and only Dharam Sena did not get into double figures of the batsmen out today. The last two wickets adding 4-3 runs for Sri Lanka. Richardson, four victims in an innings for the third time in the series, and twice here, and this victory coming for South Africa 20 year, years after they last beat England in 1965 at Trent Bridge. That was their first away, last away victory. And what a win it has been, quite a big one for the South Africans. And in the bowling, Donald, two wickets, was economical. And that was uh, after Schulz, who had four wickets, the top wicket taker for the second time in the match but missed out on 10 wickets. McQuillan had the night watchman out, but Snell produced the best delivery of the innings, considered two hits over the ropes, but completed five for the match with his three wickets. Simcox hardly bowled in this match. The awards presentation with uh, Chris McAdish, president of the United Cricket Board of South Africa, Best batsman, Hansi Cronier, second uh, test 100, and uh, the top score of the match. The second batsman in the series to get 100 against the Sri Lankans. Really played well, held the innings together, the South African vice captain. The best bowler, Mutaya Muralidharan. Second time in the series, he got five wickets first time at the SSC, he also fielded well. But this man made a difference. Man of the match, Brett Schulz, first five wicket haul in the first innings, followed it up with four more, and playing in only his fourth test match, he really made a big difference. The first ball of his in this test match was a drop chance, but what a reverse of fortunes for him. But Kepler Vessels, leading South Africa to a historic first test win over Sri Lanka and himself missing out on a well-deserved century in the first innings, led the side well.